what is the import of it productivity is the state of being productive it's as simple as that it's a state of being fertile it's a state of being efficient I hope I'm busy that you can understand it's very busy right no, I don't want you guys to be confused. I learned that I talk too much. Is it I talk too much glamour? Me, I want to be able to talk like Lazi. You say you want to talk like what? What a misplace of priority. Lazi is a very great man. If you want to be like small me, then there's a problem. So the last time I remember on Sunday when I said keyboardist, when Stephas came and he mounted the keyboard, he began to play. I said, How I wish I can play like him. I went for I went to a meeting somewhere. The keyboard was not around. So I said, Let me go and see if I can sit down and do you know, I try to put my hand like this. I discovered that this guy, that is a wisdom of God. Do you know, you talk is only by doing your hand like this. When you put it, you don't even know. Hey, I was sweating for nothing. I was not in my place. And one guy just came that I don't even know how to say go or come. The guy just came and see some flexible fair, 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 fair. See, this is magic. This is magical. I don't have this kind of Zakim Baji that Lazi has. Anybody can fall in love with Lazi if Lazi talk. He is a fly. Yeah, I have to talk very heavy heavy for you. What about Paul? Paul will come and open my hair like this. This one, if you start singing here, it's another thing. Only my cousin can talk and close his eyes. I can never do that. So you know what I said? That our strength is in our uniqueness. Your productivity lies in that your uniqueness, that your diversity. No matter how I try to sink here, I can't sink like. Look at, look at, look at blessing here. It's not blessing that's an it. If I, if I sink here, you will fall under the anointing of laughter. I said, you don't want to help my ministry. This is a lady that inspired me to sing like her. This one. This is she. I just know how that sing. I declare. Uh, so I want I used to imagine her voice. I declare the song I sing to you. Bro. So I just love you. So I decide, no matter how I do, I can never be able to overnight start singing like that. That's how it works. Then, what about guitar? Have you you thought that this guy is just doing like this? When you carry it, ah, you discover that this thing is go to school for this. Thing. Anytime you see something, salute it. So when Lazi came, he wrote all the PowerPoint. Why he came? He, I was waiting for where he would carry that paper and start it forever. He could not do it because that was not his wiring. I get what when you talk with that and we are blessed. Do you understand? What if he has forced himself? He will start struggling. Don't clone anything. Be yourself. Take advantage of grace, but be yourself. Okay. Just the man said that was time he was invited to is he redeem. No, he did they don't move up and down preaching. You stand one place like Baba used to stand. Huh. So he was trying to stand and do like, yeah, the boy gradually, gradually, he discovered he was struggling. He said, somebody, yeah! The church scattered. He said, now he feel like himself. He said, God is by your side. God like is by your side. Somebody shall fire. Yeah. That's how he is. And it flow very well. If you go to Mount the Fire, you know, this is your prayer like this, like this, they will drag you away. But they will start casting out devil from you. Join them and die by fire, die by fire. That is how it works. Everyone has his own wiring. I went to deeper life. One of those I meet, I was plastic in tongues. Somebody came and touched me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm telling you, is that not true? You don't go and do all this. Then no, no. Calm down. No spirit should move you now. When mountain of fire, you can fly. So you must understand how this to work. I get what I'm saying. You will struggle if you don't know the way of your version of God. What is efficiency? I say productivity is your level of efficiency. Efficiency is making good or thorough or careful use of resources to produce a result. When you are able to make use of the resources that God gives to you to produce results, it's efficiency. And I said that your productivity is determined by your efficiency in the kingdom. Okay? 
how well you are you able to use every resources God gives to you to produce a result. Imagine the keyboard that is playing on the background now. Is it not sweet? I assure you, I don't know whether you can, can you play keyboard. I thank, thank Jesus. Thank, thank Jesus. If she's the one giving us this now, playing this keyboard, there will be a problem. I will be this tune as she is this tune. She will bring me to a whole realm of misalignment. I get what I'm saying. So this person is using his, the, the resources that God gives him to produce a result. In the book of Isaiah 61, the Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed and to bind up the broken heart and to proclaim freedom for the captive and to release from darkness for the prisoners. To proclaim the year of the Lord. One of the things that Isaiah was able to see through prophecy was the job description of the work of Jesus. How that the goal of God is to be able to anoint the Messiah with his own resources, natural resources, so that he can become profitable upon the face of the earth. Isaiah chapter 61 is the manifesto of Jesus Christ. If Jesus is the politician. And that is manifesto. He lived by it very well because he was able to live a productive life. He was able to live a life that is productive and profitable unto God. A productive life is a profitable life unto God. God has called us unto profitability. God has called us unto productivity. A man that is not productive in the kingdom is a waste. I assure you the truth. One of the greatest reasons why God is not enough satisfied with only me and you. So he created another person because he wanted the other person to be productive. Every person that is born is a destiny, is a purpose, is a solution, and that is productivity. And that the person has not come to actualize and to realize the reason why he is born to be profitable unto the kingdom and unto mankind, that does not actually neglect the fact that it is the desire of God that man become productive. The Bible is speaking in the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Say how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. That the desire of God is that he anoint Jesus with his resources so that Jesus can be productive in doing good. The productivity of Jesus bringing more gain to the kingdom is as a result of the anointing that came upon him. So according to the context of the operation of Christ Jesus, being our pattern man, when we talk about kingdom productivity, we talk about how can you bring gain to God? How can you use every resources that God gives you to be able to advance the kingdom of God as well as advance yourself in the life, in this life? The goal of God is that as he advances you, kingdom is advanced. Beyonce is not advancing the kingdom of God. So she may be productive in life, but not productive according to the kingdom. Are you getting my point now? If your life does not actually reflect the order of the kingdom, advance the kingdom of God, being productive to the kingdom of God, then it's still a waste. If you do not advance the kingdom of God, you are advancing the kingdom of darkness. If you don't glorify the kingdom of God, you glorify the kingdom of darkness. Your productivity is determined by how much more you advance the kingdom of God with everything you think you need. Your singing, your prayer, your worship, your money, your resources, your everything. Your marriage should be productive unto God. You should glorify the kingdom of God. One of the goals why we have to marry by force is number one, we have to obey the dominion mandate. Go, be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth. How will it be for a spiritual man to have a spiritual child? The way Paul used to pray like this. Do you know everything about him is anointed, including his palm? Oh, you don't know? You are very holy, the Lord bless you. Many armed robbers. Boko Haram come from Boko Haram's mothers. Their wombs are not yet sanctified. Children are very innocent. They are proud of their parents. A seed that is corrupt will give birth to a corrupt tree or corrupt whatever. If it doesn't even die. Many children that are dying anyhow as a result of seed that is corrupted. Let me tell you. 
if I give birth to a child today, if they like, if the child likes, you should go and drink weed and drink and smoke. One day, God will encounter you. Why? Because there's a covenant that regulates my life, that is transferring the seed. One of the goals and the desire of God is to ensure that we are productive. I get what I'm saying. And part of your product- productivity is to be able to multiply and replenish the earth. To have godly children, godly seed. How will you feel to have children that are anointed from their mother's belly? John the Baptist was. Jesus was. Do you know your child can be filled with the Holy Ghost from your womb? The womb has the Holy Spirit inside. The child can also have the Spirit. Do you know that one of the greatest characters of a woman, apart from her responsibility to keep and to build, eh, is to nurture a destiny? I'm telling you, every man proceeds from a woman. You will tell me that every woman comes from a man. I agree. But the womb that holds a man, the incubator, do you know you can never give birth without a woman, but you can give birth without a man? They can transfer a seed of anything to anything. You will not even know your father, but you can never not know your mother. There is a womb that holds you. There is a womb that incubates you. I get what I'm saying. The womb of a woman is designed to incubate anything. Anything. No, and the Bible says that Adam called his wife Eve because she's the mother of all living. Adam was not referred to as the father of all living, but Eve is the mother of all living. Every living thing, Eve is their mother. She's the one that sustained the womb of creation. No wonder the day she backslide, everything backslide. Why? Because everything is tied to her womb. One of the things that God removed from Adam was the ability of man to be productive. A man may never be productive without a woman. You believe what I'm telling you? When you come to reproduction, there is always a male and a female version of anything. Jesus, God does not need a man to give birth to Jesus. God can still give birth today without a man. But God can never give birth to anything without a woman. Everything is better by a woman. When we talk about your prayer, men borrow the womb of women to pray. When he talk about prayer, he talks in the family form. The traveling as she travels, as she grows. Your productivity in life is tied to how much seed godliness dwells. And like I said, the dominion man is given unto us in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, from 28 to 13. Bible says, and God blessed the humans by saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, feed the earth, subdue it, be masters over the fish and everything and whatever. You see, God never gave dominion of man to man. It was never the intention of God that we dominate human beings. That's tyranny. And we see people that dominate human beings. You are giving command to dominate animals. You are giving command to dominate fish, plants, all of those things, not human beings. You don't dominate another human being like you. Don't subdue another human being like you. That's demonic. That's occult. You rule together. I get what I'm saying. That because the Bible says God gives command to the humans, not a human. When God wants to give the dominion mandate to Adam, he says, Turn the garden, keep it. But when you want to speak to creation, he says, Together. Because you know that mankind are going to come. Check your scripture, he gave it to the human beings. He said that we have your authority to use the resources given unto us for profitability. That our productivity lies in how much we utilize the resources that God has made available to us. Then, human beings are resources, but you partner with them to help them achieve greatness, not to subdue them. One of the things we have upon the face of the earth is because people are subduing people. No wonder many rebels everywhere. If Adam was not productive in the garden, eh, God would have cut him off. Why? Because God has done it. Adam failed to be productive in the garden. The mandate that God gave Adam, Adam failed in it. 
Adam was not able to be able to replenish the earth, eh, to subdue it, to do whatever. Because he lived, you see, the command was given to Adam and to Eve. Eve went and submitted herself to creation. And as a result of that, creation beguiled her. We always say that men can never be deceived. Men fall willingly. You men are the one that is deceived. I guess what I'm saying. If by adventure you want to be productive in life, you must understand the supply of God in your life. What are the things that God has put to you? If I will speak about the apostles, how were they productive? Simple. And ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall become witness. According to the design pattern of God, their ability to witness to Him is productivity. If they cannot witness to Him, they are not productive. They prosper to a degree to which they prosper the kingdom of God. They advance to a degree to which they advance the kingdom of God. And to that, God sees that as productivity. You can never bring gain to yourself in the kingdom if you do not bring gain to the kingdom first. The philanthropy work of Jesus was seen in how much more he represents God upon the face of the earth. The same way that you're walking in the kingdom is seen upon like a philanthropy. Like a thing you do without even the intention of being rewarded, but God in turn will reward because God is not evil. The Bible says God is not wicked, not to reward what? The labor of your love. The labor of your love are the processes for your productivity. Why not? Our dominion man is to take over the world system and be productive unto God. So the act is the crusade, the prayer meeting, the equipment, the teachings we are doing now. We are being productive to you so that you can go do the working of the ministry, productive unto God. Do you know that it is the desire of every farmer when you plant a seed, the seed should bear what fruit? That's productivity. If I plant something, it doesn't germinate to bring anything, it's a waste of time. I will cry. Why? It's not productive. No wonder Jesus too. The book of John chapter 15, the Bible says, I am the vine, right? I'm the true vine. And my father is what? Vine dresser. And you are like branches in me. If any of the branches do not bear food, my father will pull it away. So it is the desire of God that as you are connected to God, that you should bear food. If your life does not bear food, God will cut you away. You can be a disadvantage to the kingdom of God. You are not an advantage. The Bible says you should abide in me. If you don't abide in me, you can't bear fruit. Many people are not abiding in God. As a result of that, of course, they need to be cut away. Why Jesus was done with his ministry upon the face of the earth? That's what is called the Great Commission. Far beyond the fivefold operation. Far beyond your title in the kingdom. Everybody is called unto the great commission and i look upon the great commission the same thing as a call to productivity and why jesus was about to go i think matthew 28 from 18 jesus approached them and told them all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me therefore as a result of the strength of what i told you that i'm giving authority i'm giving everything upon the face of the earth he said you also go disciple people in every nation baptizing them in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit teaching them to obey everything that i have commanded you i remember that i am with you each and every day until the end of the age one of our call to productivity is to go into the world and ensure that the world shout and see jesus christ that was what joseph did that was what daniel did Daniel was productive. Joseph was productive. Every true believer that claims to know God and represent God, if your life does not point another person to God, you are not productive. You may have billions, you are not productive. If you cannot use your money, do you know a damn go take and be given out to two billion every year for the kingdom is productive? I'm, I'm telling you the truth. It's productive. Because if you cannot go yourself, let your resources go. You can send evangelists to the field to ensure that Jesus Christ is glorified every land. I get what I'm saying now. Everybody is giving a dominion mandate to what? Go into the world. No one that is going to be going for evangelism. Everyone is a preacher in that land. Everybody will lay hands. Everyone will cast out devil. Everyone will fill somebody with the Holy Spirit. Everyone will lead people to Christ. One of you, if I ask you, how do you lead somebody to Christ? Never know. 
What? How can you? That sinner, that confession prayer. You don't even know how to believe somebody. Talk more of feeling somebody with the Holy Spirit. Talk more of giving, casting out devil or healing or deliverance. You don't know basic. Basic is as you have been led to Christ. Lead another person to Christ. You don't even know how to. You don't know the sinner's prayer. To become productive in life, number one, you must be a person of value, of spiritual value and physical value. Talk about this value enough. It's something that you must work on once and for all. You must also be a person that is willing to serve God and serve humanity. Many who are talented, gifted, but they don't serve. They are not in church, they are not in anything. We don't, we don't even know whether you can live prayer here. We don't even know whether you can sing here. Your gift is for you. Everything that God gives is for you. You hide your talent like that man. You say God is a wicked God. So you hide your one talent. Well done for hiding it very well. If you must be productive in the kingdom, you must be willing to serve God and serve humanity with everything that God has given to you. You must also go for profitable knowledge. You must seek for profitable knowledge. You must also know what you want and focus towards it. That means you must be determined to advance the kingdom of God. You must be so determined, whether in your school, whether anywhere. So a guy say, come and sleep, come and sleep with me so I can give you money for your birthday. You tell him your birthday, if I don't celebrate birthday, I will not die. I represent Jesus. Do you know how many jobs we have missed because they say we should pay some money? Several times, someone that will come here and say, bring this money so that I get this job. I say, me, for we are, me that I'm a preacher. I told you now, as a preacher, I need you to please stand against me. If I tell you that, holiness, without holiness, you never see heaven. Don't know why, I will just see Mama and share now, and something start turning inside of me. That's how it works. Everything you preach will come against you. I'm telling you, you preach against sexual immorality, you find that you are the first one that wants to go into it. You say, Don't masturbate, don't masturbate. You are just in the room, you feel like masturbate, you are just a preacher. Every realm of reality you hit, you talk against, you come to you. I'm telling you, you say, People should not lie, people should not, and you now find yourself, you are very one of the chief of the liars. He says, stop, don't, don't be angry, don't have anger. Don't. And you have more anger than everybody. He said, don't lie. You don't even know why. Don't finish preaching, don't lie. You find yourself lying by default. Every reality will come to you. And sometimes when you challenge certain operation, it will come to you. That's why many healing evangelists die with sickness. Because the more they are casting out those sickness, they are casting out those sickness, they are absorbing them in themselves. So they now become sick. As they cast out that sicknesses, I get what I'm saying now. It's like that. When you cast out demons very tight, you know the demons try to come and challenge you. It's like that. They will come to fight you. So when you cast out a demon of masturbation, you try to come to challenge you. You cast out a demon of loss, you find yourself trying to lose. So you must also deal with it. It's like two things you want. Eat it here and eat it there. Most people that counsel about marriage, they are the ones that have most of the most failed marriages. When I realize that I don't listen to most married counselors, I listen to the Holy Spirit. They will tell you what they don't do. I get what I'm saying. You must go for what? Profitable knowledge. You must be a man and a woman of fire. Nothing can replace fire. It doesn't matter. That one is a basic thing. You must also be a person of a good character. That's integrity. If you must be profitable in the kingdom, you must, of course, be anointed. You can be an anointed businesswoman, an anointed, an anointed worshiper, an anointed senator, an anointed tailor. The anointing of God is the smelling of God upon anything you do. You see, for I have anointed a holy and bezali for artistic work. Jesus Christ's father is a carpenter. I assure you, he's not an ordinary carpenter. I get what I'm saying. A holy and bezali were the only people that demanded to build the ark of God. An act made with hand, but the glory of God comes upon it. God may not dwell inside, but God recognizes it. That's why I say it was built according to pattern. And last second to the last point that I will say is this no one is profitable in this kingdom, no one is productive being with everybody. There must be a season of separation in your life. Many of you don't want to lose friends, you are not willing to be great, you are not willing to be profitable in the kingdom. You must be there, must be a time where you are separated, whether I leave your father's house. Leave your friends, leave some people that are actually a distraction. There are people that the devil will send to you in your life. Many people today want to serve God, but their friends is their problem. They have friends that actually don't talk about God at all. You are here on fire. After this 30 hours prayer, we just finished 30 hours retreat every month. 
as you go back, you just go and stay with some boys. I say, ah, yeah, what? Uh, I don't know. I, can't, I, I don't even have vulgar words in my mouth again. Try to look for some of those kind of vulgar things that people say. Help me now. So I feel that I'm not fully transformed. <laughs> you talk, you talk Chinese, you talk Muslim prayer, you talk Abanese, you talk, you even add Babalao film that you, you are Babalao. You add that you are even a wizard. Some people even add that they are possessed, that they have, they are married out of well Or you go and meet all these. Guys that tell you that about let's try guests, or you believe in sleeping around, you believe in drinking, or you have female friends that believe in um, having five guys, six guys, manipulate them, just anything. Use what you have and uh-huh, to get what you want. I get what I'm saying. It's a terrible thing. You must be careful. There are many people you must be in your life. Because if people are not adding something to you, they are removing something. It's the truth. And lastly. You must be passionate about your purpose to fulfill it. A profitable person and a productive person in life is somebody that understands his purpose and is passionate about it to, to fulfill it. You are a songwriter. Do you know in Hill song, it's not every song they sing that they are the one that wrote it. Do you realize that? There is somebody that may write a song, you can sing it. The songwriter is as great as the person that sings the song. Do you, do you know that I have many songs that are written? I have close to maybe 20 songs. All this, hey, oh, my son. Many plenty songs. Do I know how to sing? No. I may need to stand with somebody to go and sing it in the studio. But I wrote it. Apostle Kechukotne is the one that wrote, uh, what's that, the last one? No, that one is chapter, the Osa. This song has gone, okay, you already. So you can be able to write a song somebody can sing it you can be able to write a song and sing it yourself many of you you know your purpose but you're not working towards the purpose at all if you know you are calling to politics or god join a party apc or pdp it doesn't matter join anyone but you say you are called to politics and you are here if you come on youth fellow youth something you don't even join or even in your school you are not in any union what's wrong with you when will you start you are calling to the fashion design. You have not even learned talent yet. And you say you are calling to fashion. When will you start? You are calling to ministry. You have not started learning read books about ministry. You have not even been able to start to preach. You, are, you, are, you start here, you are shaking like... Hello. I can tell what I'm saying now. You must work towards your purpose. It's very important. If not, you will run away like... Uh, like the way John Mark ran away. I came back later. John Mark was calling to ministry. I think the book of 2 Timothy 4, 11. That was when Paul now told Timothy, only Luke is with me here. Luke, that wrote the book, that wrote the book of Luke. He said, send for Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me in ministry. But he has been profitable since, but just that he's not productive. So he ran away when they go in God's stuff because he was not built and identified for ministry. You must walk towards your calling. Walk towards your purpose. What has God called you to do? What are you doing about it? You are calling to leadership. What are you doing? What do you know about leadership? Can you have you even lead the small people within your within your house? You are not being a leader. So it's a very you are calling to teach. Is it you want to be a teacher? Go and volunteer the teaching in the primary school. Whether it's free, do it free. Then go, go and meet somebody. Give me your child. I'll be teaching for free. Any value you offer, even for free, is not free. It will, it will reward you later on. Today I'm teaching you for free now. You teach us free. Most of you will pay me in time to come. You will never see my child. And tomorrow you are a billionaire. And you say, Kai, even if I die, you see, this is Philip Sefer's child. He says, Child, come here. Your father has blessed me. Take this. You may not give me anything now. A free value. Later you give me something. That's how the thing works. I don't know how you get it now. So I want us to pray just in one minute. You don't. Ask the Lord and say, oh God, let my life be productive. May my life be productive. I told you that productivity is how much your life can bring gain to God first, then to you. If your life brings gain to yourself without God, you are not productive. You may be productive, but you will lose your soul. That's why I started by your soul being saved. Very, very important. What is the goal of that business? How does he advance the, the gospel? How? You say your purpose is your passion. 
When I discuss some people's passion is very terrible. Somebody's passion may be killing people. How good to have that one? Somebody's passion is stealing. Anytime he's still, nobody will catch him. It's his passion. He's a talent. He can speak pocket. That one cannot be his purpose. God needs to help you. Your purpose must advance the kingdom of God. Other people purpose, other people's passion is following women. They know how to scope women very well. What are they? So everything you do must be according to the kingdom. How does it bring gain to the kingdom? And how does it profit you? Now the Lord said, Father, take away every friend that will pull me down. There are people that are in your life right now that I assure you, they are the hindrance to why you are not productive in life. Anytime you want to do something of God, they are like the inhibitors. They are like the blockage. They will block you. As the Lord has said, oh God, my desire is to be productive. My desire is to be profitable in the kingdom. My desire is to bring you gain. My desire is to walk with you. Love that song. My desire, my desire is to walk with you, my Savior. On this holy journey until I am home. My desire, my desire. My desire, my desire is to walk with you, my Savior. On this holy journey until I am home. Our desire, Lord, our desire, our desire. Oh, our desire is to watch it to On this holy 